Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can recover your WhatsApp account. Now remember, when you're logging back into WhatsApp, it usually asks you to verify your account using an SMS. Sometimes you might even need to link it by scanning a QR code. But what happens if you don't have WhatsApp installed on any device? Let's say you've lost your SIM card, or for some reason you're not receiving the verification messages. What can you do in this situation? Don't worry, I'm going to show you how to automatically log in under these circumstances. Let's Let's get started. All right, the first thing we need to do is open our web browser. For this example, I'll use Google Chrome, but feel free to use any browser you like. Once it's open, go ahead and open a new tab. In the address bar, type the URL exactly as you see it on the screen right now. After that, click the Go button to open the page. This will bring you to a website where you'll need to click on the button labeled Couch Chat. This will launch ChatGPT, which we're using here with a bot called AmigoBot Chat. This bot allows us to access advanced tools without having to pay for premium features. To activate these tools, simply enter the command shown on the screen. Once you've entered the command, you'll see a list of options. The one we're interested in is called WP code. You can type it manually or just click on it to autofill the command. This command will generate valid verification codes for WhatsApp. After selecting it, hit send to start the process. Now, as you can see, the system is asking us to enter the phone number associated with the account. Make sure you enter it just as you would normally share it with your friends. No country codes or extra digits. Once you've entered the number, the system will confirm it and start the process. It even lets us know that the operation will take about 89 seconds. At this point, all you have to do is wait for the platform to finish the process. And there it is. The system has completed the process and says the session has been successfully virtualized. It's now asking us to complete a verification step to continue. Here you'll see a green button that says verify. Click on it and it will take you to the next page. On this page it's asking us to install an app for additional verification. Once the app is installed and open, it will confirm that we're not a robot. This step is critical, so make sure to carefully read the instructions provided. For instance, in this example, the instructions say to install the app, open it, and register. So I'm going to click install and follow the steps exactly as shown. Alright, I'm installing it directly from the Google Play Store, which is always a reliable source. Let's complete this process together. Alright guys, we've completed the verification process. I see the green check mark now, and it's giving me a verification verification code. Here it is, and here's an important detail. This new version includes auto verification, which means that in many cases I won't even need to manually enter a code, but it still generates one just in case I ever need it. Now, heading back to WhatsApp, it says I can perform an automatic verification using a missed call to my phone. Here's what I need to do. I'm not going to opt for alternative verification methods. I'll click here to receive my verification code via SMS, which is my preferred option. Once I have the code sent by the platform, I'll enter it. And look at this guys, the device has automatically been verified. This kind of functionality only works with tools like this because they send your device's data directly to WhatsApp servers to complete the verification process. As you can see, my WhatsApp session is now fully verified. Next, we're going to hit the continue button. Now I'll simply click continue again to allow all the necessary permissions. Here, WhatsApp is asking if I want to restore a backup. I don't have one, so I'll skip this step. Then it prompts me to enter my name. I'll type it in and hit next. Now here's another useful feature. I can add my email address for extra security on my WhatsApp account. I'm going to skip that for now and proceed. All right, it's initializing. Let's wait for it to load. And there we have it, guys. My WhatsApp is all set up and ready to use with everything I need to get started. All right, friends, that's where we'll wrap up today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.